Hello everyone, my name is Ignacio and I will be presenting uh, some work that we've been doing with the Alexi version team to support the submission of viral data to ENA. So this process started about a year ago to try to tackle a common challenge, which is the access to data. So I was observed here in Belgium that uh, normally the labs, especially the clinical labs, were doing submissions mainly to GS8 and especially uh, submitting consensus sequences of viral data. Um, and pretty much no one was doing submissions to ENA, even though, yeah, we can point out quite a few extra benefits of it. Um, like, first of all, it's a fully open platform, so pretty much anyone can submit and, and retrieve data for, for it. Um, it has a quite well structured metadata that described everything that is submit. Um, it can take, for example, raw reads, not just consensus and sequences and, and genes. And it's already, for example, integrated into COVID-19 data portal. So any kind of analysis that makes use of this portal to fetch public data, it will benefit from any submission that is being done to ENA. So the starting goal that we had was to get more high quality data into ENA. And to do this, we decided to create a Galaxy submission tool, which will focus mainly on the submission of raw reads. Um, the idea in general was to actually lower the technical barrier that was present uh, for bulk submission, especially. This is mainly because it was quite complex to um, specify the metadata, uh, especially by using the ENA web interface. And the idea of creating a Galaxy tool was to benefit from the Galaxy graphical user interface, which is really easy to use. Uh, so the idea was to use a tool uh, well, create a tool uh, that will involve a single step submission that is pretty much just one click. So it will should somehow manage the ENA credentials and the, the, the management in the Galaxy context. Um, it will be using this CLI tool that is in here. And the idea also about the metadata management is that the users would uh, input pretty much all the metadata by using, uh, by filling a template a spreadsheet that we created with some control vocabularies. Uh, and then by using the Galaxy data types, for example, the collections, um, it will be really easy to do the bug submissions. So this is basically an overview of the, the tool that we, we designed. So basically the inputs are the raw rates and what I mentioned before about the metadata spreadsheet template that should be filled by the users. Uh, so everything that is within the, the, the gray box, the gray box is, is transparent for the user. So it does any kind of preprocessing that is required. It just runs the ENA upload tool. And it also, it's important that it fetches all the accession numbers that are retrieved from ENA and it reports this to the user. So they know um, how to access the data once it's uh, just on ENA. So, to provide access to these tools, we have three different options. One is the users can access to COVID-19.us.gov.be, which is uh, an instance that is specific for Belgian institutions. So they need to re request access. And once they are there, they have access, of course, to all the computational resources. They can upload the data. They have access to some uh, preprocessing tool, for example, to clean the human reads. And they can do the submission using this tool. And this submission will be used, will be done um, using the Elixir version uh, brokering account. So all the submissions do, done uh, through this instance are linked with the same uh, credentials. So the other option that is available is we created a small ENA upload container, which contains not just this tool, but also all the pre-processing tools that are uh, or might be used, uh, might be needed uh, before the submission. So in this case, you just download the container and it will run the Galaxy instance locally and you can just access the, the tool and you can um, fill the, the ENA credentials in the user preferences. And in this case, you only need just one dependency, which is Docker, of course, uh, and you can run it locally. So the other option is, of course, using the public instances. This is a public uh, tool. So it's already available in several instances, for example, in EU and userx0.de. In this case, anyone can register and upload the data and in this case, also, you need to fill your ENA credentials that you get from ENA website and your user preferences. And in this case, yeah, of course, the, the, the submission is done uh, 
uh, using these specific credentials. So we also did quite a lot of work in terms of documentation. So I wanted to highlight some uh, about this. You can visit particularly this first site uh, to see a really detailed guide of how to do the submission, how to use this tool and the different options that I just showed. And also here you have a lot of documentation uh, related with the, for example, the pre-processing tool and also the, the container itself. So that's about it. Thanks, of course, to the founding agencies and to all the people that did the, the work.